Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. In the meantime, I'm I'm really intrigued at the idea of stacking things that add um, autophagy or mitophagy. And so the idea of what if I did spermidine and I did a timeline together during a fast uh, and, and then exercising at the end of the fast and, and things like that. And of course, there aren't studies about this stuff yet. A lot of people are saying, how do I get more out of an activity that I'm already doing? And so I'm already in my mind going, all right, what's my timing going to look like for this? And it seems like either during or at the end of a fast is when I'm, I'm going to start using timeline um, because that'll probably be more convenient anyway. Yeah, well, I was going to say, you know, in, in terms of uh, how you use it and the actual effects, um, we were speaking about uh, our one of our earlier clinical studies, um, uh, but more recently we've done a clinical study that was four months long, where people were taking uh, timeline on a on a daily basis over a period of four months at 500 milligrams, and what we saw was uh, an improvement in leg muscle strength. Uh, after that four month period, we also uh, did similar types of tests that we did in our uh, our initial study where we looked at uh, biomarkers not only in the muscle but also in uh, in the plasma and we saw uh, an impact there, um, particularly on acyl carnitins, a, a decrease in, in acyl carnitins over time, uh, showing an impact on um, mitochondrial function. Uh, basically, as uh, acyl carnitine levels are higher, that's uh, indicative of uh, mitochondria that are um, less healthy. And so as, as they go down uh, lower, that, that's a sign that your mitochondria function is improving. And, and the fact that you see that in, uh, in, your, in your plasma is an indication that there's something happening not only at the level of muscle that we saw when we did these biopsies uh, in the leg, uh, but also um, more systemically in, in the body. Of course, all, all of our cells, except for our red blood cells, contain mitochondria, uh, but so far the focus of our research has been on the skeletal muscle and on your muscle uh, function and strength. And so, uh, you know, I see in the future uh, a possibility to examine other potential beneficial effects of, uh, of timeline uh, in other uh, areas of health. Uh, so that study that you referenced was on people aged 40 to 65 years, which is kind of cool because uh, the research um, that was backing a lot of what I did with superhuman and even a lot of what I'm doing with fast this way, it says everyone over age 40 has early onset mitochondrial dysfunction. That's Frank Schallenberg's uh, research, um, which is based on you know, measuring oxygen consumption efficiency. So it's it's very clean. We, we don't know exactly what's going on, but we know what goes in and what comes out. So we can tell they're not working the way they used to. So you targeted the group where everyone has an issue, uh, which is pretty neat. And then you found that they got stronger leg muscles uh, after four months of taking it on a daily basis, 500 milligrams. What's the dose that's in timeline? Is that the same dose? Yes, we, we've included 500 milligrams uh, in our daily dose. And in each of these okay. little cachets. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, so it, it, this, this gives you a very convenient way uh, of getting the product. Now, if you, if you say, well, okay, I, I'd prefer to get it through, um, you know, and you were referring to natural ways and, and, and so was uh, uh, Navindra uh, through a pomegranate, well, you'd have to have a lot more pomegranate uh, juice uh, a day. In fact, what we've We've recently uh, this year completed a, a clinical study where we did a, a head-to-head comparison with uh, one glass of, of pomegranate juice uh, and uh, one sachet of timeline mixed into a yogurt. And we looked at the bioavailability of urolithin A in the blood uh, during the first 24 hours um, after taking several time points and, and blood draws. And, and what we saw was that there was about a six-fold uh, higher level of urolithin A uh, looking at this sort of area under the curve uh, for that first 24 hours when you take uh, one sachet of timeline versus one eight-ounce glass of pomegranate juice. So, and, and this is also, and the other thing that we found um, uh, was that those people taking pomegranate juice, uh, we only saw about 40% of people who were actually converting. Uh, and this was sort of, uh, you know, you had low converters and mid converters and high converters where all the rest uh, 
you know, weren't able to, to do that conversion. So which really highlights the value of one, you don't want to be taking, you know, six glasses of pomegranate juice every day. And, you know, if you can take uh, one little sachet that contains 500 uh, milligrams of urolithin A, you're getting a really precise dose that's been scientifically and clinically evaluated in humans to, to give you a, a physiological benefit. And, and so um, we're really excited to be able to do that and, and, and offer this to people in a convenient manner.